We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Home Built Help's Tip of the Week. This week is going to be part two of the step-by-step -step building the Zenith Super Duty aircraft kit. By the end of this video, we'll have an almost completed rear fuselage section. So let's now continue exactly where we left off back on part one. Now we begin the side skin. We have that all laid out. We want to identify and mark one side being the inside versus the outside and left and right. And then we will go fetch the L angles that will support the skin. Here we have placed the L angles. Now you want to be careful, the first L angle, the flange goes to the rear, check your plans. And then for the rest of them, the flange goes forward. Now we have just clecoed the ends of each of these and we will then be able to flip the entire skin over and cleco some more before riveting. Notice the extra section of skin that is clecoed and overlaps and then our last L angle. And these are numbered one, two, three, etc. You want to make sure you get the left versus the right correct as they are uh, some of them mirror opposites of each other. So make sure you have the correct L angles for the left or the right skin. And that will be in your plans. So with just two clecos in each L, we will now flip the skin over and continue clecoing and then we can rivet. We're riveting from the outside, so of course we're looking at the inside, and this is the left side skin. Now we're going to flip it over and remove the clecos from the other side so that we have a little bit more stable surface to rivet from. Now with the skin flipped side up, we can start our riveting. Make sure you have enough clecos to keep the L angle tightly attached to the skin while riveting. We are not going to rivet the ones at the very ends of the L angle as this will facilitate getting our longeron in at a later point in time. And here we have it all riveted. I've left off the very end ones here. Left this open because when we slide the launcher on in, it will give us a little more room between the angle and the skin. So I did that on every edge, left off this one. But now we're all done. We can set this aside and try and remember your efforts because we're simply going to do it all over again. And not going to show you too much because the process is identical. Good luck with all of this. Good luck. Now we're going to assemble the rear wing attachment assembly, which is the structure that surrounds the front of the rear fuselage. It's made up of 3-4, which is this very heavy channel, and then 3-3, which is kind of the cover to it. And these two will assemble something like this. They fit inside of each other very nicely. and the holes will line up along the top and along the bottom. And then 3-6, which is this guy here, again a very heavy 
angle will go around the corner. So this will fit right on here and the holes will match up along the edge on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and put a few clecos in this structure together so we basically have a box and this is going to form the very top inside edge of the rear fuselage at the front and then we'll add some more pieces onto it here. Here's the piece assembled. Here's the 3-6 at the corner. Now, the only riveting we're going to do is on the back side. This is the back along this top edge here and along the bottom, this bottom lip right here. But obviously the top and the front we have to leave alone because when we install it, we'll catch those rivet holes. So I'm going to go ahead and rivet the back row and the bottom row. Now we have the channel 4-1. There's a left and a right, and we've got the cutout here. And along the center are a myriad of holes, and what we're going to do is lay this down with the flanges up, and then get our 6-6, -6, which is this extrusion, which is also drilled with all of the holes. And this will go inside the channel, and we can clicle this in place and match the holes up and then we're going to rivet this from the front so that it looks nice with the rivet heads on the front but the angle will only fit one way with all of the holes matching up and we want to do this to the other side also but they'll only go in one way because there's some large holes at the bottom and smaller ones at the top we're just going to rivet the larger hole the smaller holes for now and the larger ones will get taken care of when this is installed in the plane <laughs> and of course we're going to clico from the front side and confirm that all the holes are accounted for from top to bottom and we can go ahead then and rivet from the top all of the small holes. Want to clico this every third hole to keep the extrusion nice and tight while riveting. And of course we may need to open up the holes to get the rivets in and that's fine. Now we're going to join the top part that we previously riveted with the component that we just finished and they will join at a 45 degree angle and then we take our wing ear and match up all the holes we'll clico this in place do the same for the other side and then we're really ready to go And now we're going to insert the six nuts and bolts. Check your plans. I'm going to put a bolt here, here, and here, and then also here, here, and here on both sides. Now it's time to install the side skin onto the bottom skin. The bottom edge of the side skin rests on top of the longeron. We simply line up the holes and then we go ahead and start clicoing. We want to start towards the rear where those frames are located at the back. Note the rivet we inserted sideways into the very bottom of this L angle. What that does is it helps us to install the side panel over the longeron and then we can just pull the rivet out. If you don't want to use this rivet, you'll see what we mean when you go to install these side panels about 
how that L angle gets kind of in the way during installation. With both sides on, we can now install the assembly we created earlier with the wing attach tabs. This will add some rigidity to the front of the fuselage and we simply line up all of the pre-drilled holes and Clico. This will also help us when we install the top skin. Now we're going to add the top skin. Notice we're placing boards across the top which helps support the top skin as we line it up and then we'll just pull those boards out. This top skin was made similar to the bottom skin. It was simply a sheet with two longerons riveted to either edge along with some L angles. And note here we're using a thin stainless steel ruler to help get the skin in proper position and we'll go ahead and clico after we have all of those holes lined up. Everything has been pre-drilled here. Forward gussets are being installed. Okay, so this goes. Line her up on the top. Let's see, right about there. Okay, and we'll do all the corners. Make sure everything fits together. Okay. And here's the fuselage with the components clecoed in place. We've also clecoed in the top gussets, one on each side. And also on the side, the side gussets. And everything has been riveted in between this point going rearward and then we stop when we get into the tail section here and then it's just Clecos. And we have it on the floor for easier access 